hello and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to teach you how to earn or how to get new budgets in Microsoft education so first is you have to go to your Google type Microsoft education center this one you click now you click training under training you click courses now these are the courses available here in the Microsoft so you have to choose and all of these you can um, get that just once you are done with the course so all you need to do is choose and then click start course okay so these are the table of contents for this course so in this course these are the things that you will learn the best practices for the training okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and after the summary we will have a quiz so make sure that you read or you watch the videos provided in this course because upon um finishing all the you will be asked questions so to get the badges you have to answer all of the questions and you have to pass the exam and the passing rate is 80 percent so you need to get 80 percent below 80 percent you won't be able to get the badges but you can retry again in answering the questions for the quiz okay so this is the best practices orchestrating how to prepare and each of these uh topic under the table of contents has its own video so we need to watch this watch and after you watch all you have to do is creating and distributing a pre-training survey helps to better understand the needs of those in Next, your Minecraft Education you Edition training. Besides collecting the some data about the participants' you role, move, you know, move on. Okay, so here I'm gonna choose summary because I'm already done, and make sure to uh, familiarize all of the topic. Make sure you comprehend what is taught on the course because afterwards you will encounter questions as i have said earlier so here i'm going to click the quiz or you can click here quiz and we have to answer this first question which is not a practice of training teachers new to microsoft not a practice start with a goal so it is a practice we have for different groups and skills levels yes so I think this is not, third one is not part of the best practice for training. You click submit answer once you are sure with your answer. Now, okay, we got it correct. So click next. Second question, where are pre-made lessons, worlds, and build challenges for Minecraft Education Edition found? okay i think i have noted that one and it's here education that minecraft that now then since i'm sure already with the answer so i'm gonna submit and yes i was correct yes so click next third question what materials best help deliver a minecraft education edition training mm best help i think this one presenter agendas slide decks pdfs and curated resources for the participants so yeah so i got it correct as well pick next a virtual learning space is recommended to use when teaching minecraft in person and in online too okay give participant assignments and grades provide a place I think a virtual learning space is recommended to use when teaching Minecraft in person and online to provide a place for resources, sharing, collaboration, and files and chats. Okay, so it's 
correct? The last question. Where can participants get support, connect with the Microsoft MEE community and learn what's possible with Minecraft in the classroom? Mm -hmm. I think it's here. Oh, I was wrong. But anyways, they have uh, the requirement for you to get the badges in Microsoft is only 80%. So meaning if I if we have five items and we multiply that by by 80%, then the passing score is 4. So, yes. I have passed the quiz. So, let's check if we can see the new badges that we have gained okay so here it is minecraft trainer academy train educators to teach with mee the classroom okay so we can build our certificate we can download that one and save this to our desktop okay save mm, so it's already saved uh, and let's see another certificate here create and collaborate with canva Okay, this is the certificate that I gained after taking Canva courses. Canva is very nice, so I recommend you take this course because it is very helpful. I mean, all of the courses are really helpful, but this one I find it very great. And another i have here assembling students and stuff with microsoft teams meetings mm -hmm. okay so it's done so if you wanted to have more budgets under microsoft then again you just have to take the courses and choose the courses that you want and read watch the videos the um topics that they provide for the set courses and then answer the questions or quizzes after the topic so that's all you need to do and i hope i have shared something helpful for you today so stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe in my channel see you